Okay, so today we'll be talking about the 3-2-2-3 formation, aka the box. Now, first thing, when you look at this formation, you can straight away see what I mean by the box here. These four midfield players are going to be so crucial because of their ability to kind of interchange positions and be so fluid where you'll have a CDM that can play centre-back, a cam that can play CDM, another cam that can go centre-mid, CDM, uh, CDMs that can go right-mid, left-mid. It's going to be so... This area here is going to be so crucial to us how we can kind of dictate the game, how we can move the play down different lanes. So first thing I should mention is that this uh, block five, block five here is only, only when we are in possession, okay? So this is the formation that we will be using when we are in possession. You'll have um, your back line of Malachi as your centre-back, Ayan left-back and Ibad right-back, but they're going to be playing more uh, left centre-back and right centre-back roles. So rather than your traditional wingers, uh, wing-backs, they're going to be more defensive-minded uh, in this formation. You'll have somebody like Arib, who I am going to task with the hardest job, and I'll explain why when we move out of possession but you'll have Arib and Mehdi or Omar as your holding midfielders, as well as Dayab and Ahmed as your attacking midfielders. And then you'll have your right mid and, uh, sorry, right mid and left mid of uh, Adrian Yusuf, Hasnain Yusuf, and then the main man up top, Bartek, who is going to be such a nuisance, is going to be a target man, who's also can be a false nine and drop into the midfield. He's just going to be causing all sorts of issues because he's going to be looking to constantly, constantly press that defensive line He's going to constantly look to make runs in behind. Runs in behind here to allow for a ball here. He can shoot across here. Ball here. He can shoot across. Or he'll just look to push that back line far enough where then we can start looking to come in from this side and that side. And you think about it now, if, you know, if Bartek's pushing a defensive line back where they're all in line with this penalty box, it just gives an option for if Bayab's got the ball here to look to play Adrian across here or even Ahmed look to play Hasnain across here. Now, all of a sudden, when we get to these areas here and here, we're now in a position where we can put a ball into the box. And how many times I've talked about these areas here, you know, especially, especially these areas here being the half space. I've spoken so many times about how important this half space is. It's because the minute that Hasnain can or Yusuf can push right out or Adrian Yusuf can push right out to the corners here and we have our central attacking midfielder coming in here, all he's got to do is one, and then all you've got to do is two. Same here. Come in. All he's got to do is one. All you've got to do is two. Very simple. Yeah. Or if Adrian's there, uh, Yusuf's there, for example, and then you've got uh, Ahmed. In this case, if it's on that side, Ahmed will look to come in just a bit ahead of the half space while Hasnain can occupy it. And then all he can do is, if you can find him, put it in the back of the net. Or... Again, just bang here. If Bartek's in a better position, just play it across. Bartek puts it in. There's so many different ways that we can do it from here. You know, and that, that's, that's just, you know, I'm not even going into it much. That's just really me uh, touching the tip of the iceberg there. But for you guys, there's so much fluidity and so many different attacking combinations that you'll be able to do with this formation. And, you know, all of you, especially the uh, block five up front, you know, uh, the six of you that will be, you know, rotating through that. Every single one of you have the means to put the ball in the back of the net. You all have the means to put a ball into a dangerous area for your teammate to put it in the back of the net. You all have the means to be able to identify situations where you'll have to play a different pass, where you'll have to make a different run, where you'll have to take a shot. And you'll be able to do those under the pressure that the other team are going to place on you because you'll also have teammates around you that are going to take that pressure off by Bartek pushing into that back line, he's now taken potentially one or two centre-backs off of you. Right, so that's the possession. Sorry, that's when we are in possession. Now, let me talk about the minute we lose possession and now we are out of possession, okay? So, straight away, we lose the ball. What happens? We let Ibad come a bit wider, Ayan go a bit wider, Malachi moves down, Aribi become a centre-back. Now we have a back four. We have Mehdi or Omar still as our holding. We look for Dayab to drop back because he's got an ability where he can still defend as well as attack. So we need to utilise that. His, his ability to play multiple positions will be utilised. He becomes another holding midfielder. 
Ahmed just ahead of them to occupy a three-man in midfield, make, make this triangle with Bartek just in front of him. Adrian Yusuf, Hassan Yusuf come down. So now all of a sudden we've moved into a formation which is identified as a 4-2-3-1. Yeah? So you've got your four back, you've got your two holding, you've got your three in the middle and you've got your one here. And now from this, if, if you want, we, if, if they're trying to attack down the middle lanes, cool. We just compact here, make it harder for them. Now all of a sudden we've got, you know, six here in the middle and it's much harder for the opposition. Even if we need Bartek, all he has to do is just drop that little bit further here because he's got an ability to tackle. I've seen it. So now all of a sudden, it's we've completely shut off that midfield here. We've regained midfield control here. And even here, if they want to go wide and we've, let's say we have Bartek in the middle. Cool. We go wide, go wide, drop down, drop down. We kind of move, shift over. And even if Bartek isn't playing that and we're compact here and they want to go wide. Well, all of a sudden, we're in a position where... If we want to let Ibard go, that's fine. Because what will happen? Malachi comes down. Now we've made a back five. Now we've strengthened it even more where it's in a back five. Let Ibard deal with this here. He can try and if you're trying to push them out, he'll push them back. So then our winger can get involved in this kind of attacking, uh, sorry, this defending scenario here to win that ball back. And then we just allow for our central attacking midfielder to come down, allow for him to come down. And now all of a sudden we've shifted our entire team over, even if we want, we can make a yarn become inverted because then you still have this four man here. There's still back four here that it's not, you know, you haven't got holes anywhere because it's impossible for them from this position to play something crazy over here. Um, sorry, uh, it, even if we didn't move across, even if it was still like this and there's this gap here, it's impossible for them to play this somewhere here for them. It's just, it's too much. This just, it's unrealistic. This whole area here, you know, this whole area here, you won't even have to worry about it. You don't need to worry at that point. But in the case that we do, for some reason, if they have that player who's like a De Bruyne or a Modric in their team, all we've got to do, cool, right, well, well, you'll occupy that, you'll occupy that, and you've got that, done, simple. Still got your back four, you've still got your two holding midfielders because Ayan can come in and do that. You've still got a three in the middle and you've still got that one up top. So it's just so fluid, this formation. I absolutely love it. You know, and I'm so excited for you guys to really, really start getting a hold of it. It's difficult. Don't get me wrong. It's a very difficult. But I wouldn't I wouldn't tell you guys to use this formation if I didn't believe in your lot's capabilities, you know. And now let's talk about. So we've done in possession, out of possession. Now we're going to talk about how we. How we transition, OK? So we're going to talk about how we transition out of the 4-2-3-1. So let me just put this back into like a 4-2-3-1 here and here. So remember, Arib, Malachi, Ibad, Ayan, uh, Tayyab, Mehdi, Omar, and then wingers and attacking. So let's say now we're in a position where the goalkeeper's got the ball, you know, straight away. The minute we get possession, whether it's through the goalkeeper or through Ibad, Ayan, Malachi, instantly, instantly we look, Bartek, straight away, go up, push them out. Because what you'll do is you'll take the pressure off the midfield straight away. If you run through and push them out, you've taken them off. Now, if they don't give you the attention and they don't drop back with you, hold with them. Get aggressive. Get into them. Get stuck with them. Yeah, really stick to that, man. Just like you did with me in training, stick to them. Now, from there, straight away, then Ahmed looked to go out again. Look to uh, come into this mid space here, this mid third. Bayab looked to go straight into a mid third. Arib looked straight away. And, you know, Mehdi Omar, you should already be in that position, ready to uh, receive a pass, play it out, receive a pass, hold the ball, look for an option. Malachi can come through and then you've got your back three. And even if here, if Malachi's getting pressured, you know, there's no option here. Just go wide. There you go. You go, you go really wide. Goalkeeper can try and play it to you guys out wide. If he can't play it out wide, then what we do is, um, well, let me get rid of this actually. So what we'll do from here then is we'll have our wingers then go wide as well. So now all of a sudden we we are in a position where we can really spread the play, you know, and we can we can we can kind of cover that entire area where the ball goes, you know, from from the goalkeeper it goes wide here. Now from wide here, what can Ibar do? Well, from this position, maybe if Ahmed looks to come down, provide a bit more support, let Hasnain go. If if that back line is held up by Bartek and they're with Bartek, then you just have to identify that. Let Hasnain go a bit. So then from here, if it's maybe a one, two, you know, Arib looks to come down, make that three. Bayab, make that four. 
Bartek five, Adrian comes across six, Adrian back of the net. Bang, like there's so many ways. You just got to be smart. Look how I've just figured out a link here. Okay, I understand this is just on a board. It's not in game, but you see what I mean. The fact that I can do it on a board shows that there's a possibility it can happen. It's not impossible. You know, it's not impossible. Let, 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 you know what, let's do another way now. Okay, so we did that way where we, we made Hasnain push up to make it look like we wanted to attack down this side. But, you know, in a, ma in a matter of about, it would take you no longer than about 12 seconds to sw completely switch it to the other side. So again, let's say, um, let's regain our box, put these lot wide, yeah? Then from here, all you've got to do, again, let's say the goalie gets the ball, he plays it to Kai, yeah? Let's say he's played it to Kai short, it bar just drop off, allow for that ball to come here, allow for Mehdi to come in, or Omar, allow for Hasnain to come in, because from here, all you've got to do is, if a bar gets it, you can play one to Hasnain, one to Mehdi, or Omar, they run on, boom, here, come down again, Boom here, go across, boom there. Bartek looked to come down. They have looked to become the striker because then if, if you get this ball, you can drive here. Then Ahmed looks to drive here. And from this position, look again, you've got then Adrian or Yusuf coming around. Uh, goalie will be back there. So from here, it's either you go forward here, you go through there, you go around the back there. Boom, done. And look, how many passes is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Back of the net. So there's so many different ways, so much versatility. And, you know, I'll, I'll do more videos on build-up play, more videos on how I want you guys to press as a unit, how individually where your positioning should be. I'll make separate videos just for you guys all to look at. So, you know, uh, um, Arib will always know where he needs to be. He'll always know, right, okay, cool. If this is turning over here, I know now when I need to go back and become a centre-back, when I need to press, become a CDM, when I might have to even press a bit further and become a cam. So I can let Dayan become a striker or Ahmed become a striker. So we can play a double striker. Because then if you've got Bartek there and you let Dayan come with him there, now all of a sudden that back four, they're like, damn, we've got two strikers here. Got a winger here and a winger here. That's already four. Four on four. And if you're in a position where, sorry, let me just bring this back. Um, back three. You're in a position now. Areev's on the ball. They've pushed up. Ahmed's just ahead. Boom, now Areev's gone. Now you've got this six block just looking to press and you've got another box here because just passing 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 through you know you can go one two agent go boom three you go from here you go one you go one here back here through there goal you go from here you go one two through goal from here you go one two back goal if you can go one turn goal you go one here flick it on two go it's so many different ways and that's why this formation is incredible so remember it's the Three, two, two, three when in possession, and the four, two, three, one when out of possession. So the minute we lose that ball, again, just drop, 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 occupy the midfield, occupy ahead of him, come here, look to be compact. The minute they want to play out wide, fair enough, let it bard go. When a bard goes, you want to come back in. You want to come in across here. You want to come down. It is, you know, there's so much fluidity. And again, we'll practice it in training. We'll keep looking at positions. We'll keep looking at rotations, how to rotate around. It's so simple. But that's the gist of it. You know, guys, I want you to really remember what I've said about how to move around, how to link up, how to be smart and responsible, when to look for the gaps, when not what to do when there's no gap. Just hold the ball, hold up the play, pass it back. Keep it moving. You know, if we've progressed up the pitch here, let's just let's completely keep the same box. So, you know, we're in our, um, let me get rid of this. We're in our five, the five block up top still. So we've got our, uh, our five block here. And uh, we've got our defend, uh, CDM just behind. And we're in a position now like here. If you need to, you know, if, if, the, ball, if the ball's here with Kai, it, if he doesn't need to do anything, cool. What you do, hold the ball. If they come at you, put the ball here. Go wide. Yeah, go wide. Hold it. Be safe. Let him come here. Just one, two, you know, between you two. One, two. Go back to Kai. Kai, go here. Go wide. Go wide. Come come down. You know, then you want to play it here? Cool. Then he, if he wants to play it back here? Cool. It, it doesn't matter. We don't need to progress. Hold the ball. The opportunity will come then maybe when you play this ball here that you can actually play a ball here for him to then run onto. Once he's in this position, it's, it, it's a... You know, it's a 70% chance you're going to score once you're in that position because you should 
be able to have teammates that identify when that ball, you know, if he's wide, but remember the ball's here, he's not going to stay wide, is he? He's going to look to come inverted a little bit. So he's always in that position to just be in this area to get that ball, to put it in the back of the net. So guys, again, that's this. Watch this. Keep watching it. Remind yourself every day, you know, not every day, it's overkill. But keep reminding yourself, this is the formation. This is how we're going to play. This is how we're going to do it. And honestly, if we do it and it doesn't work, we'll make it work. Because I believe this is how we're going to uh, win. We're going to do it in the friendlies. And then we're going to do it in the season. And inshallah, we're going to win. But just keep remembering. It's not about ego. It's not about who can take on the, men, the most men. Wingers, you're gonna, there are going to be times you're going to be so out wide. You're probably not even going to get the ball for a long time. And some of you, you know, you're the best on the ball. Doesn't matter. You've got to play your part for the team. Because when you get that ball, I know the minute you actually get the ball, there's a high chance you're going to do something with it. So I don't always need to give it to you. Because I know when I can give it to you maybe twice a game, that's already like a 60, 70% chance that you're going to create something from this play. So guys, keep watching it. Keep reminding yourself of it. And um, I'll catch you in the next video. Take care.